All right, so I've been going through and platinuming every single LEGO game on the PS5 store, and I only have a couple left, which is why I asked all of you to vote on the next one, and LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars was chosen today. Also, if I can't platinum these all before we hit 600k on YouTube, I get punished, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Okay, anyways, LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars has 49 total trophies inside of it, and it is playable on the PS5 through the wonderful PS3 game streaming feature, which means it's as stable as my last relationship. Bruh. So the first stage of the Platinum is to go get every single story trophy inside, and there is a whopping 22 total levels in the main story, including bonus levels. Also, there is three different paths you can take to do this, so I kind of just did random ones to start and then followed them each solely to completion. But the first level opens up with a prologue in the Jenison area or arena or whatever they called it. This is pretty much just picking up from the last game, I assume, but it's the scene where Anakin, Obi-Wan, and the girl are all stuck in a coliseum, and they also get completely swore by droids from all angles. Oh yeah, and you battle Boba Fett, I'm pretty sure, who is this bounty hunter trying to take us out. Anyways, this black dude ends up taking him out with a clean slice, sending his head up into the children's viewing section. Talk about trauma, am I right? <laughs> That's not funny. The rest of this level then had us escort some Jedi into the escape ships, and that was it. So here is the first trophy of the game. The next level, I was in some city just making it through these people's apartments that were flooded with droids. Definitely a landlord problem, not gonna lie. Eventually, though, we got outside, and I'm not gonna lie. This was extremely confusing because I am what they call mentally autistic and couldn't find out what to do. So yeah, I just stood there for a while, questioning many things. Eventually, I did make it onto the ship though, and instead of bringing us to safety, it just brought us right into a battle with some bald woman, who low-key looks like Will Smith's husband without the tan. And yeah, we just battled her for a while, until ending up falling from the sky for endless amounts of time. And of course, we beat her, which then popped us another level's trophy. Next, I continued with the same storyline, I think, and the objective on this level was to just place these bombs everywhere, I'm pretty sure. At least, I think they're bombs. And there was loads of them. Like, big fat loads of them, if you know what I mean. Anyways, it ends with us saving R2 from falling to deactivation, and the thing we were on did indeed blow up, so my theory of bombs was correct. And there's the level trophy. I then did my first space mission, and I'm not gonna lie, these are mostly cancer. Sadly, this LEGO game is old enough to the point where they didn't develop aiming quite yet on ships, which makes using them god-awful the entire playthrough of the game. But when I finished the level, I got two trophies, actually, because they felt bad for me. Next, I had to do a lot of parkour trying to cross this ship's, like, electric canal or something. I don't know what this is, but it was weird and very hard. And after that, I then had to battle General Grievous in a makeshift boss fight where he just hid behind his droids that also hid behind force fields. Lots of fun. Stop the cap. <laughs> and then it was the end of the level, and I had to confusingly move this crosshair over some planet in front of us for god knows what reason. And by the way, this was like super obvious, but also not at the same time, which is honestly a great way to sum up this game in its entirety. But here's the level's trophy. Next, I ended up in the fog outside, which is lame. And once we went indoors, it was also lame. But then we fought General Grievous again, and he was, again, being a little pussy. So we made some monster dinosaur creation fight us instead. And that was loads of fun because we actually got to battle something that didn't run away. So yeah, the level then ends with us back outside in the fog, just flying away from everything and everyone. And there's the trophy. There was then a level with a big ass worm just tunneling in and out of these buttholes everywhere around me. Loki was super distracting to me and I don't appreciate it. I forgot to take my meds and this damn worm isn't helping. However, I got to take out my frustration on this one part that has infinite amounts of droids that just constantly spawn in over and over. Loki was super annoying when trying to actually do the level's objective, but I did get a trophy for killing a hundred of them, so who really cares? Also, that was basically it for the level, and we just flew away again, giving us another trophy. I then reached the final part of this storyline with Jenna Grievous, and we, as you could guess, got to fight him for like half an hour straight. This level was unironically longer than my wiener. Take that as you want. But after we touched him a lot, it then ends with us getting in our ship, blowing up his ship, of course, and then just flying away as we watch him die. And we got a trophy. What a peaceful gaming experience. That's what I'm saying. The next storyline I picked up began with us playing as Yoda and the clone troopers assisting us. We then got to peruse the land, blowing up a few ships, and also quite a few of those force field droids that ended up being super annoying because you can't just shoot them with their upgraded force field armor. And yeah, that was it for the level, and another trophy popped. Next level then had us in a forest visiting Logan Paul, and my game just broke suddenly. What a great feeling. I love the PS3 streaming on the PS5. It is so good. 
anyways, once I got back into the game further in the level, I got to man a ship and just unload missiles into the vegetation below me. I love taxpayer dollars, what can I say? This level then ends with us fighting some villain guy on a super long elevator. Not gonna lie, I don't even know who this is, but we got a trophy. I then got forced to play another space mission, so yeah, this was a space level, and here's the trophy. Sorry, but these are all like pretty much the same thing and kind of annoying, so I can't really be asked to make commentary on them. However, next level, I got to ride various different machines, animals, and turrets, all the while blowing stuff up. What a great mission. If only they could all be like that. Oh yeah, and the next level was then the last for this storyline, which has been a lot more random in comparison to the general grievous one, and it also gave us our first ground assault level in the game. These are a super big pain in the ass later on when they are timed, but for now it's not, and I just spent loads of time and definitely had loads of fun on it. I'm gonna be real for a moment right now. Some people really like these, and those people are awesome, but I am not those people. And I don't hate these, but I don't like them, so there's the trophy for finishing that storyline. I then began the final storyline in the game, and it opens up with one of those levels again. So, yeah, this is gonna be a long day. Oh my god! But while here, I did get a trophy for using some vehicles in combat, so that's cool, I guess. And also, here's the level's completion trophy. I'm not gonna give these any attention, much like your father doesn't give you any. I then did the next level, which was again a ground assault, and again, here's the trophy for it. And the level after that was also in space, so we really are trying to just not have fun today, I guess. And here's that level's trophy also. Next, you guess what kind of level it was. Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait! Did you guess? Yeah, it was a ground assault trophy. Are you crying, bro? And oh my god, we finally got a normal level for once. Thank the lord. I'm just kidding. That was actually only after we did more ground assault crap, so I now have mixed emotions. But the rest of this level in the fun part had us playing as Ashoka, Ahsoka, or whatever this orange Donald Trump skin looking girl is called. But she just traveled through some caverns until making it to this reactor room and having to do multiple puzzles inside of it trying to figure out how to blow it up. Anyways, we did blow it up and then got a trophy for finishing the level. It was then the final level for the storyline, thank the lord, but it began with us playing as Obi-Wan and we made it inside this cave system or something which was really dark and that was literally all we did just travel around it until we ended up having a boss battle against this thing i know it's 2024 and lots of people identify as different things nowadays but this creature is the only thing that we should be calling a thing like what the f is even that and yeah we killed it and got a trophy GG, well played. So now with the main levels finished, I then began doing some bonus ones to get this stage fully over. And the first one I did had a ground assault as the mission. I want to ball my eyes out. But I did get a trophy doing it, so that's cool. And also another when I finished it, of course. I then made my way over to the evil ship in this game because there's lots of stuff over there also. And once just landing inside of it, I got a trophy for just being there. Hashtag participation award, still rock. I then spent the next three hours of my life confused on what I was doing, but ultimately decided to just go begin to liberate each planet because there is two trophies for doing that in this game and it takes quite the grind to do so. Mostly because each planet has a ground assault level on it and some are actually super hard. Also I did stop the bonus levels because I can't do them right now since I don't have enough gold bricks, so if you're wondering why I didn't do them, that is why. But I did get a trophy for stealing 20 enemy vehicles at one point, so that's fun. And I then finally got to go do some bonus levels again and this one actually wasn't a ground assault level which increased my happiness a little bit and this trophy made it even more so. I then did the last bonus level after which had us playing as a load of bounty hunters and was actually a good fun level. So yeah, there's the final main story trophy. I then began the final stage of this trophy list, which I don't even know what it really is. This might be the most lost and confused I've ever been playing a LEGO game if I'm being real with you. I think it's mostly due to this game having zero directions or markers for anything, and you pretty much gotta stumble around finding it all on your lonesome. But I did a lot of these ground assault missions as you can see, and I eventually got all the planets under the Republic's control for that trophy. I then had to take a break from doing those ground missions because it was ruining my life, so I jumped over back to the main story to get every single mini kit inside of it, which is the only collectible in these, thank god. By the way, this took me like 5 or 6 hours to do with guides on where the mini kits are. So yeah, it, it kind of sucked. In fact, this was probably worse than the LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga main story collectibles, if I'm being honest. But there's the trophy. I love how I spent six hours of my life on something just to sum it up in like 20 seconds. Good times. Please subscribe. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, during all that, I got some random trophy also, so there's that. I then went back through them all again with stud multipliers this time and got true hero on all levels for that trophy. I also found that those space missions can get you a load of studs super quick, so I was just farming one of them for more studs, of course. And I got another random combat trophy that I didn't mean to get. Oh, it's nice. 
I then bought some characters in the open world, and I bought even more characters. Also, I hate this system of character buying. It sucks. But I did get all the red bricks later on, so who cares? I then got pretty much all the characters bought a while later on after some more ground missions, and got this trophy. But then I had to go back and turn all those ground assaults over to the evil teams. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot the right name for them. But yeah, with all those red bricks, it makes this task like extremely easy, so there's that trophy. I then played as Count Dooku and Anakin, and had them both exchange favors for each other. And a trophy popped a few seconds after. No comment. But all I had left to do was now go and play every single bounty hunter mission, which is a whole different ordeal in this game. And it's just a ton of time missions where you have to go find some guy it wants you to. Overall, it's super easy, and there's a trophy for that, with the gold brick trophy also. And that didn't quite push me to 100% completion because I had one more vehicle left to get, which was funnily enough the gold brick vehicle. So I had to go find that thing hidden in this game's endless maze of an open world, and after building it, I got the trophy. All that is left now is to do some cleanup trophies inside of levels. First, I threw Yoda's lightsaber and hit five enemies at once easy. Next, I farmed 50 radio commands in the ground assault missions, which are still ass. And then I just simply landed a ship with Lando on a space mission, so yeah, that was actually really easy. I then farmed 50 kills while force holding this droid and making him exterminate his peers without free will. Loki, this is probably a hate crime. After that, I had to go back into story mode and on this one level, disguise every single character you can play as with these blue helmets. So yeah, I did that and it was easy. My final trophy was then to win three arcade matches in a row. This mode is a special game mode where you can play against a split-screen friend, or if you're me and have no friends, you can just plug in another controller. So I did that, and it was kind of dumb, but I did get the trophy, and then of course the Platinum Trophy right after. So that was LEGO Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars Platinum Trophy experience. Overall, it wasn't really fun to me, but if you enjoy playing old games that don't hold up, then by all means, have the best time in your life. I'm never playing it again. Anyways, thanks for watching, and the LEGO Challenge is almost done. You know, this is this is kind of sad actually. Psych.